A first alert, a judge rules a lawsuit to repeal the state's 1849 abortion ban can continue. Wisconsin lawmakers outlawed abortion in all cases except to save the mother's life nearly 200 years ago. Democratic Attorney General Josh Call filed a lawsuit in Dane County days after Roe v. Wade was overturned. New at 4, Emily Roberts joins us after looking over the motion denying the dismissal. Emily. Brittany, Jeff, I just got off a video call with Attorney General Call as he reacts to that news. He argues the ban is too old to enforce, and a 1985 law allowing abortions before a fetus can survive outside the womb takes precedence over that ban. Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Ermanski filed the motion seeking to dismiss Call's case in December. Dane County Circuit Judge Diane Schlipper wrote in her motion denying Armansky's dismissal, saying she interprets the legal language in the 1849 law as prohibiting people from killing fetuses by assaulting or battering the mother. The law doesn't apply to consensual medical abortions because it doesn't use the word abortion. So a doctor who performs an abortion is criminally liable only if the fetus was viable under the 1985 law. Call calls the ruling a major victory for people trying to restore abortion access. The lack of access right now to safe and legal abortion in Wisconsin is impacting the lives of women in Wisconsin and doctors every day. Uh, there are people who uh, are having their reproductive freedom limited because of the lack of access to care. Wisconsin Right to Life issuing a statement in response to the ruling just moments ago. Wisconsin Right to Life's Gracie Skogman says, quote, Today's decision is a devastating setback in the ongoing fight to defend preborn life in Wisconsin. No matter what the courts decide, we will continue to advocate for the protection of life in Wisconsin, including comprehensive care and resources for mothers and their preborn babies, end quote. Action 2 News reached out to District Attorney Ermanski both on the phone and on email, but he hasn't responded yet. And we're continuing to follow this story. We'll be the first to alert you as soon as new information comes out. Jeff.